Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your Figma designs to Adobe After Effects using the Convertify plugin. Um, so the first thing we need to do really quickly is just jump into the Figma community, search for the word Convertify, so that's C-O-N-V-E-R-T-F-Y and you'll see Convertify pop up under the plugins tab and if you go ahead, go ahead and click on the install button on the right hand side, um, that'll be installed and then we can get started. So I'm just going to jump into my Figma file, which I've grabbed from the Figma community. It's just a handful of vector character illustrations. And what I want to do is basically get these out of Figma and I want to get them into Adobe After Effects so that I can animate them or do some motion design with them. Um, and I want to do that without having to manually recreate these elements or copy paste them and kind of nudge them around. Uh, I want this all to be automatic. So we're going to do that today. And if you follow along, I'll show you how it's done. So if you just right click anywhere and go down to plugins, click on the Convertify plugin, which is the one we just installed, and that's just gonna open up the plugin. So uh, the first thing to note is that uh, the Adobe export options in the Convertify plugin only support single pages. So unlike the sketch exports, um, which I've covered in other tutorials, um, Adobe only supports one page. So you can change the page that you're converting by just switching in the pages panel on the left and you can see here it's going to change uh, in brackets the file or the page rather that it's going to export. Um, so the way that this is going to work is we're going to actually export this Figma design to first an XD file. We're going to open up that XD file and then we're going to convert that from XD into After Effects. Um, this is a really simple process so I'm just going to walk you through uh, step by step right now. So the first thing to do is just click on the Convert to After Effects button in the Convertify plugin. So I'm going to click on that now. That's going to convert all the layers on our page um, and it's just finished. This is a really simple file so it only takes a couple of seconds. Um, so as I mentioned, we're just going to download the file now, open it up in XD, uh, export an artboard to After Effects and I'm going to show you how that works. So if you go ahead and click on the download XD file for exporting to After Effects, so click on that button. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and click Save. And on my desktop, I'm just going to double click on that file which is going to open it first in Adobe XD. So you can see here Adobe XD is just fired up and loaded in our uh, exported file that we just exported from Figma. And you can see here it's carried over all of our vector layers, um, all of our Figma layers have been exported over. Um, but of course we don't want to use it in XD in this case, we do want to get all of these layers into an After Effects file so we can actually animate them. So the way that we can do that is just by clicking on the artboard that you want to export into After Effects. Um, so you could either click on this one, which would export all of these layers. Um, but for today, I'm just going to do a single character. So I'm going to click on the character frame or artboard, and I'm going to click on the file menu in the top menu up here in XD. And I'm going to go all the way down to export. And under the export menu, you'll see this uh, item at the bottom that just says After Effects. So go ahead and click on After Effects and this is going to instantly export your artboard into After Effects. So it's just automatically opened up After Effects for us and we can see here that the uh, artboard that we just exported from XD has been carried over to our Adobe After Effects file. So all of our Figma layers are here, you can see them in the timeline uh, we've got all, the, all of our vector layers, our groups, um, and of course these can be moved, you can transform them. Uh, I'm not going to embarrass myself by trying to animate these layers, I'm not, not an After Effects expert. Um, but of course if you are, this would be super handy, you, you don't have to recreate all those layers from Figma. Um, effectively all of your Figma layers have been converted from Figma um, to Adobe After Effects using the native XD uh, export feature. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's, uh, it's a really simple process, as I said, and um, yeah, this is, this is everything you basically want. Um, of course, this was a really simple file. Um, if you do have a much larger file or have a lot of bitmap images or um, lots of different uh, layers on your artboard, this might take a little bit longer, especially if you're using a, um, an older computer. Um, but if you're already doing motion design, you've probably got a pretty uh, specced out computer or PC anyway. And uh, if you're going to the trouble of exporting your Figma files to use in After Effects, then I'm sure you probably won't run into uh, too many performance issues based on that. 
Um, so that's the whole process. You can you can do this for uh, as many artboards as you want. Um, we could do it for this one as well if we if we wanted to try that out. So we just again click on the artboard, go down to File, Export, click on After Effects, and once again uh, this will open up the file in After Effects. So there we go. We've got the other layers or the other characters, I should say. Uh, imported into Adobe X, uh, XD and then exported from XD to After Effects. Um, so yeah, again, this was much quicker because it's just a bunch of vector layers. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, if you do have larger files, it might take a little bit longer. Um, but this should be essentially everything you need to animate those vector layers, individual layers from Figma um, in After Effects, as I said, without having to uh, manually recreate them, which is a, a big pain if you've ever tried doing it before. Um, so that's basically it. You can apply this process to any of your Figma files that you want to use in Adobe XD. Um, it works perfectly for vector files, as I mentioned, and um, it'll, it'll work just as well with, with other types of files too. But yeah, vectors are always really nice for exporting from Figma to uh, Adobe After Effects, um, especially if you're going to be using them to then export to something like a Lottie file or a Lottie uh, format then this is usually the style that um, you would do that in After Effects for. So um, that's it. That's the whole tutorial. Uh, it's a reasonably short one today. Just wanted to run through this um, new uh, feature that we've shipped into the plugin and walk through the steps on how to do it. And if you've been wanting to uh, export your Figma designs from Figma to After Effects, um, this is as far as I know the easiest way to do it without having to manually uh, recreate all those layers, um, especially for con complex designs. Um, so to the, the uh, people out there who've requested this, um, I'm glad to say that it's, it's all working now and uh, you can go ahead and try this in your own projects and workflows. So as always, thank you for tuning in and watching this video and we'll be back very soon with more Figma tutorials like this one uh, very soon.